Warning. Radar lock detected. of the ship go? Hey, hey, Adjuman, are you okay? Uh, what happened? Wait, where are we? What I, is this? I, 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 I don't exactly know. Where, what, what planet are we on? Why is the ship in pieces? Why is everything on fire? <laughs> Why is everything sideways as well? <laughs> That's probably the first oh question God. I should have asked. What the, what happens? This is the this is the entire nose section of the the Phoenix. It's just obliterated. Oh no. What what we were just we were just flying along. What happened? Okay. What I can remember is we were in cryo sleep, just heading home, right? And okay. there was a warning. I got up and checked it out, and it was some nice looking planet and the ship wanted to put down to refuel and okay. then as we were coming in this giant laser a just giant laser to shreds yeah i would say like you're dreaming but kind of thing the proof is in front of me what where where did a giant laser come from there's some enemy bases around here i think oh my think gosh shot us down oh my gosh i just turned on my inventory what Artillery firebase? Cargo seaport? Sentinel Peak? Wow, we're in the middle of it. And oh. oh my god, look at look at this. Look oh at this my gosh, pieces here. everywhere. Is that is that the flyer? Oh yeah, it is. <laughs> it's on its head. Oh no. Oh that's that's seen some better days. Yeah. And there's a giant piece of the ship over here as well. Hey, oh, look, a yeah, grinder! This is... Well, that's good. I have hey, nothing right now. Yeah, this is one of the engine nacelles. Oh, shoot. Okay, well, actually, this, this thruster here doesn't look that bad. Uh, let me put my grinder on. I can see if oh, this stuff's actually yeah, workable. And, oh, I found a grinder, too. Oh, nice! We've got grinders. We we don't have welders. We don't have we don't have drills, but we have grinders if we need to grind anything down. Yeah, this yeah, stuff's these, not that bad actually. It survived the fall. This engine's actually still together. There's some components there we could get. Yeah. Okay. But I I think we've been shot down. We've been shot I down we, again. Uh, are we having to uh, escape from another planet? I think we might be having to escape from another planet. Why this is... does this keep happening to us? <laughs> I think this is our thing. We just escape from planets because no one's going to let us have nice things. They just shoot us down whenever we get close. Oh, hey. Oh, the bus. Well, they are the former bus. It's now the, the car, I guess. It's lost its entire backside. Oh, well... At least its battery is still together. That's oh. good. Oh, wow. That is really good. That's actually incredible. Okay, we can maybe use those to uh, to rebuild. Oh, what else do we have my... here? <laughs> oh, here's my car. There's your... Wait, oh, where's my oh. car? Uh, Where did my car go? Okay, your car survived. Mine is nowhere to be seen. Dust. That's okay. It was the bucket of bolts, now it's just the bolts. But, but I mean, this isn't, you, this is not survived. That's fair. There's this... a pair of wheels, and just that's it. It's, it's just <laughs> a bit of armor. <laughs> All the components are gone. 
Okay, yeah, survived was maybe a, a bit of a a bit of a stretch. Yeah. Some catwalks over here. Some uh whatever Smoking this is. Reactor. Smoking <laughs> reactors, yeah, probably don't want to get too close to that green smoke. Uh does it have Oh, it's still got eleven uranium in it though, so we should definitely get that out. Ooh, okay. That's good. So we've got uranium. We've got components galore over here. Does this have hydrogen, by the way? This actually looks like it's not that bad off. No, it's it's completely empty. But yeah, they're broken, so they would have been venting. So I don't think we have any hydrogen, so be be careful with your jetpack. Oh. That's, that might be all the hydrogen we have for a little while here. Good call. Uh, But, okay. We seem to have landed on some kind of water planet. Well, we're on the beach. If we wanted a beach holiday, I guess we're, <laughs> we forcefully got one. Nice. Water planet. I've actually never played in the water. The first there time. You know. so, be your, so be your first experience playing with water. Yeah. I think we need to get out of here, though. Uh, there's yeah. a lot of enemy grids, and that is to the north. So I think we need to salvage what we can and uh, head south as soon as possible. Yeah, uh, I think rebuilding is probably what we want to do, but rebuilding here might be a little dangerous considering uh, everything. Yeah. So maybe our All best right. course of action is to take inventory of what we've got and maybe try and build some sort of craft. The hand drill down here. Oh, a hand drill. The, uh, and there is a, a, a welder in the in the flyer here. Nothing else. Just a single welder. Okay, so we've got so a we welder, have... a hand drill, two grinders. I do have at least one set of tools. That's good. I need to find myself another set of tools if they are to be found. If they're not, it's no big deal. We can we can eventually get them potentially. Yeah, we can at least. So, um. I think what we want to do is we're on the water planet. Do you want to make a boat? <laughs> I think maybe let's make a boat. Potentially okay. should the, well, I was going to say adapt the flyer, but the bus is the thing with the batteries and the flyer doesn't have any batteries, does it? Does it? Well, I don't know. Uh, oh, it does. It's pretty beat up right now. It's got a battery. Have batteries on it. It's, this one's almost full. Uh, uh, it has two batteries. Yeah, it's two batteries. It's a, uh, they are yeah almost full. Okay, they're so slowly depleting right now. But can we, we make the flyer into the floater? <laughs> the floater. The floater. The <laughs> floater. That sounds bad for some reason. <laughs> like it's just it's it's a floater. Yeah, we make it into the floater, and we we float off into the 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 sunset, away from all these enemies, all these these bad. Things. Well, I say they're mm -hmm. bad. I don't. I, it is gone. The cockpit's gone. Oh. Well, they are glowing red on our. our they're glowing red, they're and bad. something lasered us. <laughs> so they're the prime suspects. We got still some cargo containers here. Do you want to use the hull of the flyer, or do you just want to use its components and rebuild a new ship around the batteries that are here? Um. Well, how does the boating stuff work? Do we need to pressurize an area for it to actually take okay, effect? Okay, so how it works is you either need to have, like, every single block has a weight to it and also okay. a volume. And so regular blocks, like um, just plain old armor blocks, will actually be somewhat neutrally buoyant. Okay. So this ship as it is would probably somewhat float, but wouldn't float very well. If you want to float really well, you need either one of two things. You need empty tanks, like empty hydrogen tanks or something like that. Okay. Or you can do a, a enclosed space that's pressurized. And that ah. will cause you to float really well. So we need to build some kind of hull that has uh, some enclosed pressurized space. And that will give us enough buoyancy that we can put stuff on it and then use that. We need to some kind of like, we almost need to build like a barge. We've got tanks here. If we wanted to use tanks, 
These are empty. Yeah, keep, in, keep in mind, that's all the hydrogen you get, so. Oh, these are dead. Oh, yeah, good point. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's a welder in here, actually. Oh, uh, there's a welder somewhere in here. There's a welder in out. There's a welder in the welder. Oh, here. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's appropriate. There we go. Okay. I have a welder. At least we can both build. Yes. Uh, I mean, we could get these tags going. They take a lot of large steel tubes. I don't know if we have that many in salvage here. Uh, I was more thinking, like, build small grid tanks on the, the flyer thing over here to make, like, a sort of catamaran thing. Mm -hmm. But I, I noticed these tanks actually only have a couple steel plates in them. They're, they're really badly uh, damaged. Is that an unknown signal? Mm. What is that? Something parachuting over there. <laughs> I think that's an Probably unknown signal. An unknown signal over there. <laughs> Okay, so maybe let's let's turn the flyer into the floater. Do we want to try to flip it over? How would we flip it? Battery method? It does have a few gyros. So if I override and try to yaw it... I think you're playing a Ooh. dangerous game here. Maybe we try to work... Oh! It did something. Yeah, but that's, but that's only yawing it back and forth. That's not actually doing much. Oh, okay. Okay, so over gyros are not going to flip it this well. Okay, maybe we maybe we just do it um, while it's upside down. Mm-hmm. We get like uh, raise it up a little bit potentially. Uh, yeah, let's find enough stuff for a uh, piston and uh, a mag plate. Small steel tubes and computers. Uh... Mag plates there. <laughs> yeah, it's time to run off and find what. <laughs> it's a scavenger hunt. God. Anyone have small steel tubes or computers? Did you find any of them? Uh, the rotor here has a little bit. Potentially break down some of this. I got it. Okay, I'm gonna reverse this and get it up in the air. Ah, the flyer flies again. Maybe for the last time. Uh, yeah, it hovers at least. <laughs> okay, let's. Uh, I guess what do we need to do? Do we need to make this? Do we? Do we want to flip this over? How do? How? 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 Uh, well, what we could do is we could put a... Like a block on uh, it? Like a rotor off one of these ends and then create a um, piston mag plate combo and then transfer it to that piston mag plate combo and then turn the rotor over and just flip it over then it would be up in the air. But You're the engineer not. here. That sounds That sounds complex. If you can manage to flip this thing over without use of the battery method, I will applaud you. All right, I'll give it a go. Okay. I just got to get some resources. Um, meanwhile, what I might do is I might build like a little uh, cargo container and place everything inside it. So I'll mm -hmm. go around collecting stuff. Oh, you'll go on a scavenger hunt? Go I'll go on a scavenger some hunt, good yeah. Resources? Yeah. So I need to find interior plates. You know who sells interior plates around here? <laughs> Conveyors. Perfect. You need interior plates. I just bought interior plates. Excuse me. Okay. <laughs> Boom. Cargo container. Oh, I forgot about the hydrogen thing. I'm at 13%. <laughs> I told you when you were zipping <laughs> around. It'll be fine. There will be no negative consequences of this. I'm sure. I'm, I'm, I'm certain. <laughs> You're right, there is some ammo in this. We could potentially create like a little turret in case any of these red... Oh, hey! There's a planetary defense laser now! I well, suppose that's oh, the one shit. that uh, that shot us down. Uh, yeah, that's probably what got us. Huh. Uh, yeah. Okay, I need some computers and small steel tubes. Well, if we're still here, either it can't detect us or it can't shoot us. So I guess we count our blessings for now. Uh, yeah, we might just be outside of their, uh, you know, realm of caring about. They're like, ah, they're over there. Yeah. We smote them upon the, uh, we are the, small. the sand dunes. Compared to the ship, we're, we're tiny. But I imagine if we tried to, you know, build a large grid ship and take off, we'd probably, <laughs> we'd probably get smited again. Okay. Okay, I'm impressed. This is actually working. Somewhat. This is like that scene from Star Wars where Yoda does the thing, you know? 
What, raises the X-Wing? He raises the X-Wing. That's what you're doing right now. You're like, trust young Patty One. And then you just... <laughs> Boom. If it wasn't copyrighted, I'd put Star Wars music over this. How was that? That was incredible. <laughs> nice job. If you had green... <laughs> if you were wearing green armor right now, it would actually be that scene. I'm actually kind of impressed myself. It worked incredibly. That's uh, 2024's Kanajashi trick that I'll take over to my my uh, my own <laughs> Space Engineers stuff. Yeah, every time you collab with me, you learn something new. For real. <gasps> oh no, my little my uh, you know you know the the laser gun I made. <laughs> it's laser here. Gun. Yeah, yeah, the laser, the the um, uh, you know. You mean your railgun thing? The yeah, <laughs> it's here. Oh, it is. It survived ish. Can I like? It's still in one piece. If I were to like press. Okay, no, it doesn't have any battery. Have... That makes sense. Yeah, you don't have any power. <laughs> I think I may have alerted the enemies to our presence if I had managed to shoot that. There's still some railgun sabos in here, so we might as well grab those when we're done. Wow. Okay, we have three functional. Uh, sorry, I can't count. Four functional small grid railguns if we want them. Yeah, and what about these? The uh, like, there's the artillery and stuff here. Here, let me pop battery? my butt up here real quick. Hey, the artillery and assault cannons here still have ammo in them. Oh at least man. A few. Okay, so we're starting off with shots. some. Uh, we've got some weapons at our disposal. If we've we got a little bit of ammo, yeah, that's pretty good. At least we won't be, um, you know, completely defenseless in this initial bet. Yeah, which is good. Because something tells me we're going to need this ammo. Okay. My idea for the floater... The floater. Is that... <laughs> Sounds funny. These areas where we have the engines... I think we take the engines out. And we close those little pontoons. And we um, pressurize them. And we use them like little pontoons and float on them. Ah, I see what you're saying. We could try that. Pressurizing sounds a little tough, though. We could also potentially just build some, uh, some small grid, um, hydrogen tank, right? You said empty tanks will work? Empty tanks are not, they'll, they'll work, but they're not the, the best. Ah, I see. Okay, so we, we'll try that. We'll make little pontoons on the side of this thing. Uh, something I noticed is that we, we don't have... Uh, a survival kit or anything. Oh, that's that's important. Uh, oh, my so, health is at 81 already. I gotta be a little more careful. Okay, survival kit, steel plate, computers, display, motor, medical components, construction components, and steel plate. So, uh, everything except the medical components is easy peasy to find. Yeah. Do you want to... I mean, conveniently, there is a giant hole in the side of the flyer right now that we could just stick a, a survival kit oh. right here. Yeah, that'd be perfect. So we just need to find medical components. Um, well, let me go check the metal, uh, the med bay. Um, there was a med bay on the yeah. crash ship over here. Yeah, or if not, the, um, the cryopods take med components. Oh, the cryopods too, perfect, okay. Uh, let's yeah, see. Yeah, yeah. Uh, check those and uh, let me know if you run out of hydrogen because I still have 67%. So okay. I can do a little I'm bit. I'm not going to of... run out of hydrogen anytime soon. Critical. Okay. At 3%. <laughs> uh, Just check. Medical component. Zero out of 15 on this, but you said the cryopods have them. Let yeah, the cryopods just... should have a few med components each. We just. I'm just going to get my way over there. The... That button still works. Oh my god, the hanger button still works. That's cool. Yeah, yeah, it does. <laughs> yeah, the little hanger button over here. Okay, because I'm stubborn, I didn't tell you I'm having extreme difficulty getting up here without the jetpack. But <laughs> I'm I'm <laughs> I'm getting there. I've got the scaffolding set up. Good job. We only need three, right? Oh, this takes three. Perfect. Uh that should be enough. Because I'm about to run out of energy too, so I'd kind of like to. Yeah, let's let's prioritize that. Expedite. Let me plunk it down, and then you just need the med bonus. Let's build it. That's two. Uh, I got two. I'll be right back. 
<laughs> yeah, maybe you ordered the two-day shipping, not the one-day. <laughs> the the two-component shipping? Yeah, yeah, the two-component shipping. The other shipment is is uh, in customs right now. My energy is critical. Uh, that's I'm 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 working on it. I have nine energy left. I don't know about you. Okay, I am. I have forty. I'm working on it. I just have to climb. Eight energy. I'm about to die. No. <laughs> you might actually die. Like I'm working on it, but it's a task. I actually don't think you take any damage unless you're like in like a super hot environment or something like that. Ah, okay. Like, unless the energy is actually like required. But for us, it'd be fine because we could just jump in the pool. I mean the ocean. No. Okay, here we go. Survival kit. Uh, kit is built. What's that? You said survival kilt, and I was just like, <laughs> "What are you like, kilt. Scottish?" <laughs> yeah, I mean that wouldn't be that bad. Hey, let's get some power back. Nice. Uh, I think what we should do is once we've got this thing able to be a boat, cool. we should put some wheels on it just to roll it down into the water. Yeah, that's a good idea. Also, it'll help when we get to whatever beach we get to. Yeah. That we want to live on, we can just roll up onto the beach. Okay. All right. So that that little pontoon there is pressurized. Uh, should be pressurized. There's an vent on it pointing in downwards. And set to decompress. Or wait. Uh, no, you just need to Compress. have it be good there. So let me just take my spectator camera and go inside and. Yeah, it's green. Nice. Okay, so we have a, a, a pontoon. Yeah, we have one pontoon. So I just need to get at least one or two more of those, and we'll be able to float. Okay. And I'm guessing th it matters where the pontoons are, right? Like, if you have all your pontoons in the back, it's going to tilt your thing. Yeah, yeah, that'll be our location that we float at. So ah, okay. I want to try to get the the... F like, our back left is kind of destroyed, right? Yeah. So... I'm thinking I just get the front pontoons good, and we might be able to float even without our back left. I don't know if this is going to be enough flotation for the long run, but it should be enough to get us at least going. Need steel plates. Oh, well, luckily for me, they're everywhere. <laughs> yeah, just go grind down some of the some phoenix bits of the ships. It's a little sad that the phoenix is not going to rise from the ashes this time. There's a little too many ashes. Yeah, I think this one, this time the Phoenix dead. Well, I guess something could be said about, you know, we're using the the parts from the Phoenix to make a yeah, new ship. So technically the Phoenix lives on inside other ships. The first <laughs> law of keen dynamics, a, a component is neither created nor destroyed. Unless you explode it. Unless you explode it or try to collect it. But well, barring those things. That energy. Well, hey, I can just get in the cockpit for a bit. Hey, there you go. Just don't press P and then space. <laughs> <laughs> that particular combination uh, would not be good. Mean body. Well, oh, I've used 1% more of my stuff. Your hydrogen. <laughs> yeah. Just mindlessly, you know. Every, every now and then you get stuck and you just jetpack it up. Oh, yeah. We'll do a little scavenger trap. Maybe we put like a tiny turret on this thing. Yeah, there's room on the top. Well, there was originally turrets on the top, so we can just replace it. Put a turret back on. Oh, uh, you're right. Did this have two turrets up here? Yep. Oh, okay. But we're going to need a place to sit as well. Yeah, we will. Um, Maybe a bench? They have those new benches. Not new, but like... So the four pontoons Fuel are complete. Critical. I believe this thing has enough flotation so that it would work. Alright. Um, I think I need to go on a, another scavenger hunt and try and grab a couple of remaining components before we set off. And if you'd like to add wheels to this thing to, to get it to roll... Yeah, I think I'm just going to quickly get rid of the connector on the bottom because I don't... It's sticking down and I think it's going to grind on the ground as we drive. Okay, that's not a bad idea. I guess all this stuff will still be here if we want to come back at some point. So we don't need to necessarily 
Yeah, but I don't think we're going to come back with all these enemy grids around here. I think as soon as they notice that we're doing stuff here, they're probably going to send something. And I think they're going to scavenge this beach. Yeah, they so, might. I think we need to just leave. <laughs> <laughs> we need to just leave as fast as possible. Okay. Also, we got little bits of stuff around here. Like, scavenge the ammo, you know, that kind of stuff. Uh, there is... We do have some hydrogen in the bus over here. The bus is hydrogen? The bus is hydrogen. Uh, two small hydrogen tanks. Oh, it's actually intact? Yeah, it's in, it didn't explode. Somehow it didn't explode from all the fire around it. <laughs> well, awesome. So we That's, don't want to uh... destroy... Like, we can't move it over to the other ship. Not that easily. We could build a bottle? Or we could find a bottle, maybe, if there's bottles around here? I mean, these H2O2 generators are here. I don't right. think there is any bottles here. Yeah, I, I didn't see any when we were scavenging. All right, let me go see. We have our our survival kit. Let me go see if I can build anything out of that. See if it. we could build a, a cockpit, we can sit in it and refill. Like a, you know, a proper cockpit that's got connectors. You can maybe take this cockpit and turn it into the other cockpit. Well, because you could always go... Um, something with water mod is you do not need ice. Because with water mod, if you have a collector in the water, it will get ice for you. So if we have a collector on the floater, we will have a constant source of ice. And then we just need an H2O2 gen on the floater, and we have a constant source of hydrogen. So, okay, so I should move this H2O2 gen then. Yeah, we should... Well, I don't know if the floater has an H2O2 gen right now. I'm bringing one. I'm bringing a new one. There we go. And then, and then, then we, we just need, need something at the get bottom. A, a collector. Because I think this thing is going to float pretty low in the water. What, okay. this, what this collector should do is should give us a constant supply of, of ice into the H2O2 gen, which will then make us all the hydrogen we need. So we basically have infinite hydrogen once we get this thing in the water. Okay, that's going to be good because I'm sitting at 2%. Yeah, but we just need to get in the water now. So I'm going to throw some uh, some wheels on it on the sides here just so we can get it down to the water and then we'll probably take off the wheels once we're, once we're in the water. Okay. Just doing the jump uh, weld method. <laughs> it wasn't working very well. The old jump weld method. Bounce. Bounce. I gotta go <laughs> weld from the top. Okay, yeah, that's a good idea. And then all we need to do is get a couple more bits of uh, thruster on this thing in order to get the other directions. Because we need uh, a forward one and maybe a little bit more to the right. And we're good. I'll get those new sci-fi ones. Oh, hang on now. Hang on now. I just remembered that we have these things here as well that we can always put. Well, airboat. Boats. I'm going to put it right here, yeah. actually. We uh, can put it on the pontoons, too. <laughs> Was I welding you again? You welded my face. <laughs> you, 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 you took 40% off. 40%? <laughs> okay, we need motors for this thing. On my screen, I was welding what I should have been welding. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> ah, I keep falling. I think we're pretty close to being ready to get out of here, right? Uh, yeah, we can do one final sweep to grab any bits and bobs we want. Um, other than that, yeah, though. I'm just... I'm grabbing the metal grids from this large tank. Oh, that's a good call, yeah. We don't know where we're going to get some more cobalt. Yeah, once we start removing these big things, though, they're going to start realizing that we're out here moving around. we got to yeah. be a little careful. But yeah, getting metal grids is a good shout. I have to use a little bit of hydrogen to get this, but that's all right. It's worth it to get How much some do you have? artillery shells. Uh, I have 59% hydrogen left. 59%? Oh my gosh, I just used all mine immediately. <laughs> You're like, don't use your hydrogen. And I was like, I won't. And then... 2% <laughs> immediately use my hydrogen. This thing's kind of looking like a race car. <laughs> yeah, well, at least until we get it in the water. And then we can take the wheels off and it'll be 
look like a proper boat. You see, I'm saying we need to conserve our hydrogen, but in order to get that cryo stuff, I just I have to use a bare bit right now. So <laughs> yeah. I'm probably gonna I'm probably gonna be run out here in a second too. You can use my scaffolding. I spent a long time making that scaffolding over there. Well, I guess I could. Or there was I careful could thought just into that not. scaffolding. That's why your shipment of med components took so long. <laughs> I was over here making ladders. <laughs> But at least we have enough med components to build uh, a couple more survival kits wherever we go. Yeah, that's good. Most of the stuff's in this little cargo container, so we can maybe get this on board and then skedaddle. Yeah, I think we need to hit the waves. Hit the waves. <laughs> Dude, let's hit the yeah. waves. Well, nighttime is almost upon us, so I think it might be time to uh, lower this thing down and try to drive out of here. I feel like I'm making the ship very heavy by adding all this stuff. Probably. All right, I'm going to cut it loose. All right, you're good. And there it goes. I'll tell you what, it's looking cool. But now that we have a ship over here, they're probably they're probably going to uh, clock us yeah. a little bit easier. I don't know if you want to get on or you want me to get in the water first. Oh, I'll hop on. I got my little uh, chair right there. If I can figure out how to. There we go. I'm in. So, do we got everything we need out of that, uh... I can't container? grab any more. We're, we're full on, on board, I'm pretty sure. Alright, we'll see if we float. Alright. Moment of truth. <laughs> we're a submarine! Oh no, Wait, are we too heavy? Okay, we're sinking a I little bit. we're a little too heavy. Alright, well, let's back on land. We can maybe get rid of some of the stuff. Or maybe expand the palm tunes a little bit. Hmm, we, we, we do have just a lot of stuff on here. We might just want to... Uh, we can get rid of some of the heavier stuff, yeah. Our O2H2 generator is getting ice now. We got ice? Let me, let me actually go refill here, because I'm, I'm, uh, I'm in need. <laughs> but yeah, we need to get rid of some of this stuff pretty quickly. That, or we could do empty hydrogen tanks somewhere. That's not a bad idea, actually, because then we're using up some of the components. And if we can't uh, flow with uh, this kind of stuff, we'll just have to drop resources. Just take the absolute minimum we need, which I, pro I believe would just be stuff we can't get immediately, like some... Uh, we can remake everything that is iron. We just take the medical components and the ammo and the uh, um, breads, and that's it. Okay. Just need Okay, we just need to scavenge some large steel tubes. All right, it can be done. I'm going up here real quick, because I think there's probably some... Yeah, there's two right here. And there's some in here as well. Yeah, and I got the uranium from the... Uh... Oh, wait, there's a there's eight in this thruster right here. Uh, okay. I just got another eight as well. So we should be good then. For, um, yeah, for take two. two. Also, we have some in our wheels. True. Yep, this needs another four. Let's see. Wait, this looks promising. Kind of? Our butt is a little heavy. Our butt's heavy. The butt's heavy. Well, I think if we put a, another couple tanks along the back, we're, we'll be good. Okay. Okay, come back with 20 more large steel tubes. I guess I can fly now that I have some. Oh, but my, my dampeners. Oh my gosh, that was a close call. All right, coming back with the smalls. And there we go. Well, this is cool. The one, the Sentinel Peak Extraction Outpost. I can actually see that from here. Like, I can see yeah. the grid. That's kind of cool. All right, I'll get the large steel tubes from this artillery piece, and then we should be good to go. All right. There we go. That should okay. float. One more test. Let's get in. All right, I'm on. And let's see. Do we float? Easy. This is looking floatable. Dang, we're floating. We have a boat. We have a boat. <laughs> All right, turn the wheels off. And we are on. We're on thruster. All right, wave goodbye to our island over there. On the override. Keep us flat. That's actually kind and of also peaceful. Our, we're actually kind of pitching down a little bit. <laughs> That's oh. That's okay. Yeah, we are. Becoming a submarine. But at least we are moving. Yeah, we're out of there. We're floating. 
There's our makeshift raft is makeshift, but functioning. <laughs> we we do become a submarine for a couple seconds at a time every now and then, but for the most part, we're above mm -hmm. the water. Yep. All right. So I'm going to take our forward thrusters and I'm going to put them on a very small override here. Okay. Oh, yep. There we go. We see him spinning up there. Hey, yep. welcome to the top. You're refilling over there. <laughs> Yeah, I need to get uh, access to the... <laughs> Bye! <laughs> no! Don't leave me! Quick, get back on before you run out of hydrogen. <laughs> no, okay, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. I just took a plunge there. Okay, so we're leaving We're leaving the red behind in search of greener pastures where we can hopefully build up some sort of, um, I don't know, something. Mm-hmm. That can help us get out of here. As beautiful as a planet, of a planet as it is, um... I don't think we want to necessarily stay. No, I think we should escape from this place. We should escape from this planet. Yeah. On the uh, on the screen when I was checking it, I came out of uh, cryo sleep. The screen said this planet's name was Typhoon. Typhoon. Mm -hmm. So then we'd be we'd be escaping from Typhoon. Mm hmm. So we set sail away from the the red, the enemies, and uh, yeah, we'll see what lies ahead. We're, we're off in a expanse, black ocean. <laughs> it's scary. You don't and, know what lies beneath. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, all we have is our flyer turned floater as our emergency <laughs> survival raft. And that's all that stands between us and the depths below us. What awaits out there, we have no idea. But we will escape from Typhoon. We will escape from Typhoon. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching, everybody. That's going to be it for episode one of Space Engineers Escape from Typhoon. I hope you're enjoying this series so far. You can expect new episodes every single week. If you're a fan of the main Space Engineers 2024 survival series, don't worry. That's not going away. We'll still be having those every single week as well. This one is going to run concurrently with that. So you can expect both. But with that, if you enjoyed this episode of Escape from Typhoon and you're excited to see more, please drop a like and leave a comment as well. If you'd like to become a supporter on YouTube or on Patreon, there are links to those both in the description. You can get your name in the end credits right here along with everyone else. And with that, I'll see you all in the next episode of Escape from Typhoon.